recently did a story on this. Here's a follow-up to AOC's home district, you know, home of socialist AOC, who's saying if we just had the rich pay their fair share, America would be a wonderful place. Nothing could be further from the truth if you're ready to accept reality, because here is the results of such a policy. Cameras recently went down some streets in AOC's district in New York, and they just saw rampant homelessness, crime, drug use, prostitution, street vendors selling things illegally, and nothing is being done about it. These are individuals that, if they vote at all, would vote for AOC, I imagine. They want government money to go back to them for doing nothing, but their lives aren't getting better, and the situation on the streets is not getting better. It's not like the streets are cleaned up, lined with gold, everyone is a thriving entrepreneur or businessman. Instead, instead they fall prey to the basic vices of humanity. Socialism has never worked. It will never work because human beings don't operate like that. We need to have some incentives to work hard. We need to have some responsibilities with the rights that we are given in this country. No matter how many taxes Jeff Bezos or Elon Musk or Warren Buffett pay, it will not impact the people on the ground because at the end of the day, they have to make decisions for themselves. And guess what? If you help make decisions for them and write them a check and they have to do nothing to earn that check, they are simply going to pursue the same sort of interest that they had before. So if they were inclined towards not working, not having a job, not starting a business, they're going to take more of that money and just double down on the lifestyles that they already lead. This is not a complicated fact, but if you are someone like AOC that just thinks tax the rich is going to change everything in America, this is a very hard message to swallow. Here's Fox News breaking it down. They got some cameras on the street here. Take a look for yourself at the insane layout of these New York streets. Does this look like socialism is working to you? And remember, if you like this video or you want to see others like it, hit subscribe, and we appreciate that. Thanks so much. Take a look. Meanwhile, uh, speaking of video, new video showing migrants here in New York City taking over the sidewalks to sell clothing and much more. The unauthorized flea market setting up shop in Congresswoman Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez's district. Well, our next guest says it makes Queens look like a third world country, which is why he has decided to launch a bid for local government. Ramses Frias is running for the New York State Assembly. He joins us right now. Ramses, good, good to morning. have you. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Uh, how'd that happen? Um, basically started over last summer uh, when we uh, let in um, all these migrants into our area. And uh, they just came with this influx of people that needed to make money. And they started selling uh, these goods along our streets. Well, and so the problem is, you know, you've got all the people who are now essentially vendors, but there are only so many sidewalks where you can be a vendor. Right. And now there are other problems in your neighborhood. Uh, prostitution is super bad now. And uh, also you've got crime. Yeah. Uh, so we've become sort of this epicenter of crime and uh, prostitution and illegal street vending. Um, it's taken over uh, many streets. Um, it, it goes all the way from Corona through Elmhurst and into Jackson Heights. Uh, these are three neighboring neighborhoods that are really being hit hard um, with these problems. Okay, uh, AOC sent Fox News a, a statement and she says, what we are regarding the video, what we are seeing here is the result of anti-immigrant policies that deny immigrants proper work permits and vending licenses and drive them into the shadows of undignified conditions. This is just one way of many that anti-immigrant policies hurt all you, all of us. Paths to citizenship and work documentation can solve this problem, but Republicans would rather block so they can film people in their worst moments for views. What do you say to that? So what are they trying to do to change it? Mm -hmm. um, there's no team coming out and speaking to these vendors, speaking to uh, the prostitutes that are, are in these situations. Um, where's the help? Are right. you are trying to put something together to uh, inform everybody and educate them right. on, on the outlets and avenues that they can actually take to become a better uh, person out right. here and, and, you know, coincide and coexist with the uh, residents? It, you, you told me earlier, it doesn't appear that she is doing what she's supposed to be doing for your neighborhood. Never does. Uh, I've never even seen her in the neighborhood. She doesn't campaign what? there. She's never set foot there. I've never seen her on Roosevelt Avenue. Um, this is a few blocks off of from where I literally live. I live and breathe this every single day, and I see this every single day. Well, you know, uh, there are people from her office who watch this program. Are you willing to give her a tour to show her this 
right there. I would gladly give her a tour. I would walk her through everything, let her see exactly how it is and how it's affecting the quality of life for everybody that lives there. You've got a website if they'd like to contact you. That's it is. right. You can go to Ramses4NewYork.com and uh, you can also follow me on social media at Ramses.Frias39 on Instagram. And I'm also on Twitter with uh, Ramses number four Queens QNS. Um, and on Twitter. So thank you very much for your time here. You're all over social media. Yeah, I'm everywhere, man. Right. <laughs> thank you very Good much. Appreciate it. Thank you very it. much for telling your story. Thank you. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmey. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.